with me to Proverbs 25 and 24. Now, y'all know the book of Proverbs is a book of instructions. Amen. So y'all about to get taught what God said. So women, y'all not, might not like me at the end of this sermon, but I'm just doing what he told me to do. Amen. Amen. When y'all when y'all all want a court, let me hear you say. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 25 and 24. Amen. Amen. The word of God says, For it is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, the title of this sermon, I hear the preacher say this all the time. Tell your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Shut up. Shut up. Uh -oh. And don't let the devil out. And don't let the devil That's out. That's the title of this sermon. Amen. Y'all need to shut it up. Shut it up and don't let the devil out. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Thank you for this opportunity, God, to feed your people, Lord. I ask that you decrease me, Lord God, and you increase, Father God. Father God, as the word goes out on good ground, Father, for basic is good soil, Lord. It's nutrition, Father God, and I know, Lord, that you will bless it, Lord God. Prepare the hearts to receive your word. That is, it go out and will not come back void. We bless you, we praise you, we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be who passed away. And, you know, we go old souls. We sit under him and listen to him tell stories for hours and hours and hours. And this one particular time we were sitting with him, he was um, sharing a story and he's beginning to get mad. And he said, Oh, shut up and not let the devil out. And I looked at him. I was like, I like that. Okay. But God began to tell me how much power. We have over our words that we can control our tongue. Amen. Amen. And you know, as as women, we're emotional beings. We love hard. You know, we're very detail oriented and stubborn in our own right because we know we're right. right? <laughs> I heard a woman say, "I heard a woman say, yeah, the man he a head, but he ain't nothing without that neck because we control all that." <laughs> I said, I know that's right, because we do it whatever we want us to do. Amen. Amen. So let's go to the word. The word says, wives, be submissive. As a wife, I am to be submissive to my husband as he follows Christ. Now, as the church, we are to be submissive to Christ, because we are his bride and he is our husband. But how can we submit to each other if we can't submit to God? Amen. The word submit means to accept or yield to a superior force or to an authority or will of another person. That other person is your own husband. Amen. Amen. That's another title called, that's another sermon called Get Your Own Man. Get your own man. <laughs> uh huh. Y'all know that story of the woman at the well when Jesus yeah. said, Go get your husband. She clutched her pearls like, I ain't got no husband. He said, yes, you're right. You have five husbands. Y'all know that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get y'all another sermon on another day. Man, Pastor, put that in the pocket. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. <laughs> so let's look at situations which creates opportunities that lets the devil out. Number one, you haven't been praying. Y'all not prayed up. The enemy can come in like a flood because you're all in your flesh. Honey say, y'all be fleshing. <laughs> all right, all right. Amen. You haven't been reading your word. The word is our what? Sure. That's right. It's our weapon. We can fight the enemy with our word. Number three, you wake up with an attitude or you go to bed with an attitude. The Bible says, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Amen. 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 Get over it. Just brush it off. And then number four, you're totally against the word submit. Don't even say a word that starts with an S. You're like, what? Oh, so who? No. Uh uh. That's how, you let, that's how you know the devil is going to use that. Mm -hmm. And so all of these opportunities are for the enemy to attack you, amen? Mm -hmm. He will use something as small as a piece of lint to create a ball of yarn. Over what? Yeah. Pick your battles. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nothing. You come home after a hard day's work, and he got dinner ready for you, and it's chicken and vegetables. And you come in, you say, chicken? I'm on the rip. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. He, he went out his way. He did what he needed to do for you. Just be appreciative. Amen. Amen. So, lady, we must learn to bridle our tongues. 
Proverbs 16 and 32 says, He that is slow to anger is better and mighty than he that ruleth his spirit, than he that taketh the city. Y'all know what that verse just said? We can control our, if we can control our spirit, we can take a city. Yes. Amen. Now that's some power. That's power. But don't be fooled. I've learned that the enemy chooses to use the closest person to try to hurt you. Yeah. Amen. He knows that using that person will get a reaction out of you. So he'll wedge a little foot in your kid's door. He'll wedge a little foot in your mother's door. Those are the people that have your heart and it, their best interest at heart. Amen. And so, um, I'm here to tell you to shut up. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Just don't let him out. Amen. Don't let the devil out. But then you say, now who do you talk to? If I'm shutting this devil up, who am I going to who, 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 who do to get rid of him? Come on now. Don't go to the world. Because right. <laughs> the world tells you, go talk to the doctor. They got pills for you. I got right. some too. Y'all know I got some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Don't go talk to no therapist and no psychiatrist. They got strong appeals than what I got. Amen. 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 Don't call Miss Cleo. Go and see a future. She probably did. Who, who, who's reading futures now? Diana Ross, somebody. I don't know. But don't go to the world. I'm here to tell you. Talk to the one that created you. Talk to the one who can change your heart. Talk to the one that said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Talk to God. Our Father, Elohim, El Shaddai. Y'all know the names. Just talk to him. He the one that knows where you're coming from, Father God. He can, and he can fix it. So, let me tell you. How you speak life. First Peter 3 and 10 says, For whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. When I say speak life, y'all say speak life. Colossians 4 and 6 says, Let your conversations be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Speak life. Ephesians 4.29 says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Speak life. Amen. Proverbs 10 and 19 says, Sin is not ended by multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongues. Speak life. Proverbs 15 and 4 says, The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but the proverb's tongue crushes the spirit. Speak life. Matthew 15 and 11 says, What goes into someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. Speak life. Proverbs 15, 1 and 2 says, The gentle answer turns away wrath, but the harsh word stirs up anger, and the tongue of the wise adorn knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. Speak life. Proverbs 12, 18, 19 says, The words of a reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise bring healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue that's only a moment. Speak life. Yeah, I thought I was done. Proverbs 17, 27, <laughs> yes. The one who has knowledge uses words with his yes. And whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent. And discerning if they're holding their tongues. Speak, speak life. life. Come on, y'all. Speak life. Speak, speak, speak life. Speak life. Speak, speak life. life. Speak life. Speak life. Amen. I charge you to be encouraged and to start speaking words of life and yeah. healing today. God bless you. Woo!